Hi friends, today we are going to see what is TSSR in telecom. So before seeing this video, if anybody didn't subscribe my evergreen channel, please subscribe. Also watch the video till the end so that you can get all the informations. With this thought sharing, I am starting today video. Today topic is Telecom Technical Site Survey Report. This is basically which is useful for the telecom based professionals. Also other people can have idea about this TSR to improve their knowledge, general awareness for these things. This video will be useful. Instead of learning zero, one number it will be better. So with that thought we will start the topic. So what is TSSR? TSSR is nothing but Technical Site Survey Report in Telecom Domain. Basically subcontractor will go to the site and we will, they will do the site survey that is Telecom Site Survey. So based on that they will uh, give the all the existing sites that may be 4G, 3G or 2G sites. They will give all the existing details based on that proposal has to be made. So if you're talking about TSSR, there are two types in this. One is online, another one is offline. So online TSSR, it is subcon will visit to the site, subcontractors or, or subcon, they will visit to the site and they will give the data. And we have to make the technical survey and design. And offline TSSR is nothing but subcontractor will give all the enough data after doing the survey, they will move to next site. Online TSR is tough one compared to offline because subcontractor will wait on the site till our site uh, design has to be done. So they will wait till the design closure. So that is important thing in online TSR. So we will see what is TSR in brief, what are the factors in that, what is compressing of this TSR. So TSR is nothing but total collection of data within the cell site in a telecom domain for example what is the equipment that is located what is the base transceiver system that is bts located how much cables are located how much accessories are there how, what was the antenna type what was the antenna height and you know azimuth and mechanical and electrical tilt what kind of antenna they installed what, what kind of fort it is so what kind of direction it is so these kind of informations it will be covered in technical site survey from telecom domain and connectivity diagram for the particular cell site especially uh, especially technical diagrams also it, it would be useful here existing connectivity diagram for like BTS to antenna in between through some cable connections that is very important for the design and what kind of tower or cell site it is it is a ground based tower or rooftop or what kind of tower it is and how much load it will capable of or how much equipment it, it can carry those kind of informations it will be covered and hardware hardware and software informations and location details where it is located gps information and site access details it will be there and power data what kind of uh, existing power available how much rectifies how much breakers are available those informations can be covered in this uh, technical sites of a report and Existing and proposed connectivity, of course, it will be there in TSSR. And important and first and foremost thing is materialist and BAQ. This is one which customer and all the people they are looking at. With the help of materialist or BAQ, people can do the delivery in effective way. It will be helpful for the cost savings. If we don't do the technical site survey in telecom domain, it will be wasting of cost, you know. Without doing a proper survey, we don't know what is the recommend of future you know, technologies implementation, suppose 4G in structure, 4G in on place, we want to introduce 5G, so you should know what is happening in 4G in a cell site, so we should understand all the technical requirements, then only you can move on to the 5G technologies in a particular cell site. So these are all these small basic thing that we have to know in the TSR part. This is an overview. We'll see next, this is a sample you can see this on this side from 0 to 5 that is a tilt informations you say electrical tilt electrical tilt and mechanical tilt ranges it will be 0 to 10 range normally 
and uh, center picture you can see this is a you know antenna located on tower so this is a monopole tower their antennas are located Maybe answer type is will be 8 fold, it depends on the pentaband, hexaband, depends on the cell site, it depends on the coverage. And you can see mechanical tilts also in that picture, and you can see latitude, longitude for that particular cell site. Basically, what in technical sites people will do, subcontractor visit the site and they will collect all the information and give you the data to the technical experts and technical specialists. They were used to prepare them or they used to design particular cell site for future technologies or upcoming technologies based on the requirements of the customer. So that is the basic things in TSSR. So in BTS side what it covers? So BTS side what all the information uh, normally subcontractor it uh, will cover and what information we need? What kind of BTS model it is? What kind of baseband boards are available? What was the model and how much quantities are available? What kind of radio units it's available what kind of digital units and with quantity how much cables are there what was the length how was the connectivity between the baseband and a digital unit and are you these connectivities is must for the kind of feature design or building materials or you know material list so these are all things are important in bts point of view we will see next what is important accessories of course from bts to antenna we need feeders so in between feeders we, we need to have jumpers also for giving power to RRE we need to have DC power cables we should have power cables or fiber cables also we should have from BTS to RRE connection there should be some fiber cables that cable length and everything quantity these are all the things are important in the accessories part and below BOQ or material list in this part basically this is very very essential in the tssr part with the help of this all the design has been made our delivery mainly so it will help to do the supply chain effectively and it will help to save the money or cost to the customers so in boq what it covers so boq it will cover of what kind of existing material it is there maximum it will give proposals for the cell site Suppose you have 4G in a cell site, if you want to do a 5G rollout in a particular cell site, so what is the requirement for a particular cell site? So that it gives. So ultimately it, it, it is a good one for the customers. So it will cover what kind of BTS type can be introduced and what model and what internal hardware should be there, whether what kind of baseband, radio unit and digital unit and how much antenna you need, how, what was the antenna port and you know what was a antenna model and these things should be known and power cable and fiber cable and how much length of power cable or fiber cable with the quality that is essential for the ordering of the material and a circuit breaker how much number of ultimately power is important for the you know any cell site so Rectifier or power uh, circuit breaker and other accessories are important for the material delivery. So these parts will be covered. Also, what kind of equipments they want to dismantle. Sometimes they used to dismantle BTS, sometimes they used to dismantle, you know, some antenna, sometimes they used to dismantle some cables. So what kind of equipments it will be dismantled, these list it should be covered in BOQ or equipment material list. So from this we can know how much quantities of equipment with some length can be delivered to the site. This will be helpful for the SCM team, supply chain team to deliver the material. And this is a sample TSSR. We will have a quick look and we can see photo of uh, antenna. We can see port of antenna. You can see the label of antenna. You can see the electrical tilt and mechanical tilt of the antenna. See the, what kind of antenna type and frequency and uh, number of ports and azimuth tilt and everything it will be covered for the existing you know cell site based on this future cell site design it will be done basically this TSSR material list or dismantle list it will be helpful for any customers or partner teams to deliver the material 
so india in india tss are not followed much but all over the world other than india most of the people doing the tss are for the proper cell site delivery telecom domain so everybody watch this video who are working under telecom domain and enjoy the benefits thank you friends